Okay, here we are with the uh, Loki box, as I've termed it on the blog. And this is a really cool set. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't really get what's going on completely here. I'm sure we'll all figure that out after May 4th, or people that have already seen it, they probably know. But at any rate, I have combined Captain America from the motorcycle set with this set, and I'm still waiting on Iron Man in the mail. So until then, we won't get to see any of the reenactments of the grocery saga, because Tony Stark is pretty critical to that, obviously. Anyway, uh, you've got Loki in this cute little box, but he looks really sad in there, and I don't know, you know, Thor's like, ah, oh. oh. They're a little bit top-heavy with all of their weapons, and uh, the Hulk is not a traditional Lego, obviously. He's the Hulk. He doesn't really move, just his arms, so he can smash. That's about it. And uh, the interesting thing to me is there's like a safety release for the Loki cage. So I guess that's if you think he gets extra lonely in there, or if there's a fire or something, you know, you don't want your Loki to be in the fire, so... Ha! And he is out. I'm assuming that's not going to happen like that in the movie, because, you know, that doesn't seem very secure. However, it's a nice safety feature. But at any rate, now you have seen this new uh, set here. It actually swings out this way. Very neat. You have all these little screens. And, you know, the little Staff of Destruction, as the Toys R Us website was calling it, is there. So, yeah. Hopefully, once I get Iron Man, we'll have some more fun with the photos. But until then, that is the video of this set.